Hey, what's up, what's up, guys? Dan here. So I wanted to shoot this short video before I head to the gym. You guys already know I, I go off on tangents. I'm going to try to keep this short. It's January. This is the month of change. Everybody's reflecting now on what they've done in the past, what they did wrong, what they want to change, what they need out of this year, what they need out of 2015. And I'm going to talk about fitness because I'm a trainer, and that's what I know. I'm not a life coach or anything like that. I don't try to be one. I just know fitness, and I'm letting you know the trend I see. And what I see is, as far as the population that I serve, people go in with the mindset of pain and starvation. We hire a coach, we hire a trainer, we get on an exercise program, and we want this program to kill us. We want this program to be the worst thing we've ever experienced because we've been so bad in 2014. We didn't work out not one time, and we're trying to make up for it right now, before the end of this month. And after we get beat up from the gym, we want to starve. We don't want to eat anything. We want to live off 200 calories a day. Give me three leaves of lettuce, and I'll drink water and eat dirt if I have to because I deserve it. I've been so bad. And what happens is people quit. People quit by February. And I'm being honest, I've seen it time and time again. I know people who've already quit. I asked them, because they asked me to hold them accountable. They asked me, and I'm like, yo, are you still going to the gym? No, I'm tired. And I get why. Because they don't deserve to get beaten up like that. You don't deserve to put yourself, put yourself through that much torture. You don't. And you shouldn't expect that much from yourself. You gotta understand where you are right now and where you want to go. You cannot compare yourself to somebody else. We have two members, right? And this is just, I'm just making this shit up, but I think you guys could understand where I'm going. We have two members. One is a bodybuilder. The other one is a 47 year old mom of three who did Zumba twice in her entire life, never worked out before. Do you think the exercise program is gonna be the same? No, they shouldn't work out the same. They shouldn't work out at the same intensity. They may have similar movement patterns, but not the same exact exercises, not even the same rep scheme, not the same intensity, not the same rest interval. How about their nutrition? What's considered moderation and restricting to one person is very easy to another. And this is where, this is, what we need to do. We need to understand that we are not similar. We aren't the same and we shouldn't put this pressure on ourselves to be something or to turn into something that we aren't at this moment overnight. You understand what I'm trying to say? My daughter, and I'm gonna give you a story and then I'll let you guys go because I gotta go to work. My daughter, she's 10 years old, she's gonna be 11. But she was in first grade once, like all of us. And in first grade, she learned letters, A, B, C. I shouldn't expect this little child to write me the dissertation or her doctorate or whatever the fuck it's called on protein synthesis. You understand what I'm saying? Because she knows A, B, C doesn't mean that she can do something like that, like write a thesis. And I think we ask of ourselves the same exact thing when we're not in a position to do so. And we put this burden and this pain on ourselves when we don't deserve it, all right? Just like my daughter, she learned her ABCs. And when she learned her ABCs in first grade or whatever it is she learned in first grade, she took that as a foundation onto the second grade and then learned something else. And those two grades were her foundation for the third. Now, your exercise program and your nutrition program should build, be built the same exact way, all right? Depending on your level and depending on where you're at. Again, if I'm working with a bodybuilder who's been training for a long time, who has 10 years gym experience, maybe his movements might be a bit more complex than a 47-year-old mom of three who only did Zumba twice. I hope that made sense, guys. Don't put so much pressure on yourself. You don't deserve that pain. You don't deserve to start to starve. Understand where you are at this current moment and what is the one or two things you need to do to move yourself one step forward. It's a marathon, not a sprint. 
lot of you guys have about 40 years, 50 years left on this planet. You have a lot of time to understand your body, your capabilities, your needs, and your wants. Don't ruin it. Don't stress yourself out. Because getting a six-pack ain't really worth it. It's not really worth it if that's not what you really, really want. All right, guys? Out all of this rambling made sense. I got to go to the gym. Dan Crank Brooklyn, crankmania.com. I love you guys. If you need help, just holler. Peace.